Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Kingdom Advancement. I am Apostle Sonia Chambers. Um, let's come in worshiping. Let's praise the Lord. We're giving the Lord honor, glory, and praise tonight because he is good. He is faithful. He is wonderful. He is just. And it's um, June 3rd. Kingdom Advancement is streaming live from New York City. Um, I'm here at the Gather Fellowship. And we're just excited about what the Lord is doing and how he's moving in the body of Christ. Amen. So just come on in worshiping. Come on in praising. Come on giving him honor, glory, and praise. Right before um, I started to uh, go live, my throat just got dry out of nowhere. And I just said, I am getting on. I took some honey quickly. And, you know, I, I am aware that sometimes there are battles just to get the word out. So we just thank the Lord tonight. Um, tonight, the, the word is paid. And uh, it's an unusual word only because I thought I had the word. And right before the word, um, the Lord gave me something else to talk about in addition to what I thought I was going to be doing. So let's start off by pray, um, praying. Praying. Um, Father God, we just thank you tonight for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace. We thank you, O oh God, that you have paid every single price for each and every one of us. And we thank you that you know the plan and the purpose that you have for us to prosper us and give us great success. So we give you honor tonight, God. We give you glory and we give you praise. We, we thank you for each and every person that would be listening. We thank you that they will receive the word and they will receive the instruction and the encouragement to move forward in what you are saying to do in Jesus' name. And we all say amen. So I thought I was going to be talking about something else. Uh, and here we are. I have like, you know, scriptures that I had all through the week, actually from the beginning of the week. I got the scriptures on Sunday and here we are. I feel like I just want to talk about plans and purpose. You know, just the plans and the purpose that he has for us. So I want to... Um, it's the month of June, and uh, the month of June is a, a very, uh, I wouldn't say it's a sensitive month, but it's always a very reflective month. Uh, it's June 3rd, and, um, 2023, and um, on June 7th, it'll be five years that my late husband, Bishop Paul, passed away. So when June comes around, it always becomes very reflective for me because I'm always thinking like, you know, uh, as each year goes by, you know, what have I done? What have we accomplished? Um, you know, what goals did I set? Uh, am I in the plan and the purpose of what God is doing? So tonight the word is paid. And I want I, would, you know, I want this to be a little interactive because what would you like to see paid? I'm asking a question. Write it in the comments. I will wait. What would you, what would you like to see paid? Because sometimes we're always asking God for a lot of things, but here we are, I'm asking the question, what would you like to see paid? I can give you some examples, but this is about you and what you want to see paid. I'm waiting. I got to at least see one person in the comments before I continue. What would we like to see paid? The, the word is paid tonight. What would we like to see paid? Hey, Jesus paid it all. That's somebody wrote that. Student loans, thank you. Somebody say it. Let's talk about these things. What would you like to see paid? We're talking about real stuff because we could be, uh, you know, we could talk about the spiritual stuff, but there's real stuff that people want to see paid. So taxes, uh, things they got to pay. Okay, somebody said, okay, all my bills. Right. Union dues, we you want them paid. Organizational dues, you want them paid. Tips, because what? Waitress and waiters, you want it paid. Bonuses, you wouldn't want to get paid a bonus? Tuition, I got on the list. Rent, wouldn't that be nice if somebody paid your rent? Car note, wouldn't it be nice if somebody paid your mortgage? I have student loans as well here. People, some people, because they're not able to keep up with their bills, 
they had they say you know they they their um their checks are garnished so they want that complete they want that paid and all i'm saying tonight is that there is someone that you can tap into that all expenses are paid and his name is jesus christ so i just want to encourage you tonight because this word paid has many meanings but we want these things paid so i'm gonna say to you tonight plan a independent direction paid plan a independent direction i did not have that that happened that that particular instruction came from the holy spirit about 15 minutes ago he just said to me plan a independent direction so i just want to take you on a journey and then we'll get to the scripture and it's a scripture that you all know, um, many of you who have, um, you know, been in the word for a while, but it's June 3rd. And on June 7th, 2018, my late husband passed away. And he was the bishop of our church, which is Standard Bearer Ministries. And when he, um, when he was uh, declining, we made a decision to um, set up Kingdom Advancement Alliance. He told me that it's an organization that I would need. So like June is a very personal month for me because Kingdom Advancement Alliance, this is what I'm, this is the platform that I'm teaching on now. But um, when Kingdom Advancement Alliance uh, started, I didn't want any part of that organization due to the fact that he was declining. And when we set up the organization, he told me he would not be here to see it and that he did not want to be on the incorporation paperwork or anything. And I might've told this story, you know, a while back. So now we're going into the fifth year and I had to plan an independent direction because I'm no longer uh, the, the, the person that's now assisting someone. I am now at the lead. So, I took over to, um, Standard Bearer Ministries as the senior pastor in December of 2017, which is about uh, six months before he passed away. And he would not return to the church. And he said to me, plan an independent direction. You got to figure out what you're going to do. Um, the way I do church is very different from you. And sometimes, you know, we want things paid. We have a plan but we got to tap into what god is saying so now here i am uh you know soon to be a widow and i'm now having to plan a different direction for how the organization has been run this year will be what 12 years um in standing bear ministries and kingdom advancement alliance just finished this fifth year but I'm, I'm thinking about this thing and i'm saying plan an independent direction and i'm saying to you tonight there's lots of things that we want to get paid, but how are we going to do it? How are you going to do it? Are we partnering with God to get the job done so that we can get our bills complete, finished, paid? Are we really partnering with him in such a way? Because I want to ask you this, you know, are we trying to get the job done or are we an army of one? We're doing one job, two jobs, three jobs, uh, you know, side hustles double hustles you know we're doing all these different things and we're trying to get paid right but what would you like to see get paid maybe you just need to start to partner with god so i wanted to kind of take you on a little simple journey because the initial word was paid which is Preach about individualized decisions. There's decisions that you're going to have to make that are going to be outside of what you think is the norm. The way many times in the kingdom of God, the way to advance is to advance the kingdom. And as you advance it, God shows up and does something supernatural in your life. So tonight, is this is a supernatural night. This is a time that you can speak to God and, 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 and surrender your, your heart and your mind to him. And he is going to move on your behalf. It's time to plan an independent direction. It's time to shift from what we were doing before and how we did things. Let's get to the scripture. Cause it says preach about 
individualized decisions. What decisions have you made? Think about it. What decisions have you made? What direction are you really going in? Are, is your direction in the way of the Lord? Are you partnering with him to get the job done? Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 9. And, you know, I this was a very um, dear scripture to me when I was reading and studying it because of what the apostle Paul, Paul was doing. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, I'm reading Amplified. Verse one says, now it is unnecessary for me to write to you about the offering that is to be made for the saints in Jerusalem. Verse two says, for I know your eagerness to promote this cause. And I have proudly boasted to the people of Macedonia about it, telling them that Achaia has been prepared since last year for this contribution. And your enthusiasm has inspired the majority of them to respond. So pretty much what was going on was the, there was a, a famine in Jerusalem. So the, the churches were gathering money and finances to, uh, and, and basically Apostle Paul was fundraising to take care of those people in Jerusalem that were impoverished and, and starving. So you have this church here, um, Achaia, who had already prepared since last year for their contribution. And I'm saying that to us. When you hear about the things of God, do you turn a blind eye? Do we look another way? Or are we preparing ourselves to, to take care of kingdom business? Because I'm, I'm saying sometimes we want to focus only on our direction. And I'm playing, planning an independent direction sometimes. Sometimes you need a correction because the reality is until we seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, a lot of the things we're talking about, let's pay off our taxes, let's pay off the car note, let's pay off the mortgage, let's pay off our houses, let's, let's pay off um, our bills, old bills. But a lot of the times the, the way that things are advanced in the kingdom it's usually you have to do God's work first, and then he starts cleaning things up. So it's June 7th in a couple of days. And I remember my husband, he said to me, I want you to clean up some things when I'm gone. And when he passed away, the Lord said, I have a different plan and a different direction. And I had to, at that moment, say, Lord, I trust you. And the things that he told me to do was constantly focused on investing in the kingdom to assist people, to encourage people, to move people forward in the right direction. So sometimes the direction that you think you're going is kind of contrary to what God is doing. And just like this church is, they prepared since last year for their contribution. And it says, and your, it says, and your enthusiasm has inspired the majority of them to respond. Giving should have a response. When you see others give, it should encourage us to give. It should encourage us to serve. It should encourage us to love. Just as this church was, they were eager to promote a cause. What are you passionate about? What is it that you care about? Is it your business? You know, are you supposed to start a business? Is it your school? What is the thing that you are focused on? Because this church was eager. And because it was almost like this church was a poster child. But I, I'm saying this to encourage you because we may have to plan a different direction. We may have to plan an independent direction. And that independent direction is not without the Lord. We're going to have to go with the Lord. Because here I am five years later. And just like I was eager to promote causes. I was eager to support ministries. I was eager to see others propel and be who they're supposed to be. And it's not by my strength. It's by the Lord because I couldn't do it. God gives all the glory for everything that we've done or continue to do. But I'm just sharing this tonight because sometimes we have a plan 
but his plan is to prosper you and give you good success. But we have to line up with that plan. We may have to plan an independent direction and that independent direction can't be what you're thinking. There's a dependency that we have to have on the Lord. There's the Holy Spirit that's going to lead and guide you and, and instruct you and take you into all truth. I cannot tell you when I buried my husband that five Five years later, we're now ordaining our first pastor into a church tomorrow. I couldn't tell you that then. And sometimes the plan and the purpose that he has for us to prosper us and give us good success, it hurts. It does not feel comfortable, but as we trust him day by day, step by step, as we move forward with the, <laughs> there's a payday coming. And the things that you're going to get paid in is going to be to see the fruit of your labor, to encourage others, to invest in others, to move them forward, to know that when God is with you, no one can be against you. And sometimes that planning an independent direction, no one gets it. No one will understand it. You don't have to explain who you are as long as you know that you are listening to the Holy Spirit. We have to move forward. So I want to go back to the scripture because it says, I'm going to read it again. Second Corinthians chapter nine, amplified verse one. Now it is unnecessary, unnecessary for me to write to you about the offering that is to be made for the saints in Jerusalem. For I know your eagerness to promote this cause. And I have proudly boasted to the people of Macedonia about it, telling them that Achaia has been prepared since last year for this contribution and your enthusiasm has inspired the majority of them to respond so here we go how do we respond when it's time to give how do we respond when it's time to sow how do we respond when it's time to donate how to respond when someone gives you something how do you respond how does it make you feel when you buy something for yourself how does it how do you respond how does it make you feel Let's go to the scripture. Verse three says, still I am sending the brothers on to you so that our pride in you may not be an empty boast in this case. And so that you may be prepared just as I told them you would be. Verse four says, otherwise, if Macedonians come with me and find you unprepared, we, we to say nothing of ourselves will be humiliated for being so confident. And one of the things I want to say to us is sometimes we come unprepared. We don't come to, to serve. We may not come to give. We may not come to share. We may come. Sometimes we come in lack ourselves. And there have been many times I've been there. But one of the things we got to realize is we have to listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying. Because sometimes we just want to get paid. We just got a plan. Right. We have our own idea. It's independent. But there's a dependency tonight that I'm talking about. We have to listen to the Holy Spirit. Or otherwise, we ourselves are humiliated. It looks like the church isn't working. Like what we're doing doesn't make any sense. I mean, you hear it. You just give your money to church. You just give your money to charity. You just give your... But the thing is, we got to see fruit. This is a time of fruit. This is time to get paid. As somebody wrote, Jesus paid it all. But guess what? All to him I owe. All to him I owe. And... and we got to shift our hearts to start thinking and not always think about us getting paid. Paid. Preach about individual donations. Who are you in the kingdom? You know, we want to be distribution centers. We want to be the lenders and not the borrowers, but we don't lend nothing. We say these scriptures all the time. You know, I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not the be beneath. I'm a lender and not a borrower. And then when you when somebody asks you something, you don't want to do that. So now we got to really think about what are we really saying? Because we'll end up having a plan that's an independent direction that may go contrary to what the Lord is saying. Let's go back to the scripture. Verse I'm going to go to verse five. It says, that is why I thought it necessary to urge these brothers to go to you before I come and make arrangements in advance 
for this generous previously promised gift of yours so that it would be ready, not as something extorted. This is one of the things we got to know. When we give unto the Lord, it's a worship unto him. The same way we lift our hands, the same way we sing praises unto him, the same way we magnify him and glorify him and lift him up, is the same thing when we give unto the Lord, it is worship. And when you start to sow, when you start to give, when you start to tithe, he opens up a window of heaven where there is no room to receive. Listen, and it's not related to always finances. I just got a granddaughter, healthy, happy, smiling, eating. No, this, this benefits. I had brain surgery. I could not see. And then now I can see. I drive everywhere. So there's benefits. There's things that are intangible that are outside of just dollars and cents. My children, hedges of protection around the ministry and people in my neighborhood. I mean, just things after, I can have testimony after testimony of how God is so faithful to us and protecting us. So it's way beyond just, oh, I just, you know, I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna just give this. We gotta be, um, oh, Jesus. We gotta be calculated about what we're doing. We got a sense of when we want to go to school, we fill out the application. We decide which schools we want to go to. We um we we take the examinations that are necessary. We study, we go off in, in um in corners and, and they'll stay up all night to prepare. And it's just when it comes to the to the, to worship, to fellowship, to, are we prepared or are we just coming in any old kind of way? This was a church that was preparing not only. To, to take care of what they had to do at their church, but they were concerned about others in somewhere else. And tonight I'm encouraging each and every one of us, we're going to have to look at our individual individualized decisions because I'm preaching about it because that's what this page is. There's three pages tonight. There's a plan, an independent direction. Sometimes God is going to give you a direction that's outside of what someone else told you to do and you're going to have to follow that. We're going to say paid. We're going to preach about individualized decisions. Sometimes we make decisions on our own. And then when we we run into issues, then we come back to him. But we should have just listened to the Holy Spirit. And we're going to pay, preach about individual donations. Because just as the church of Achaia, the same church of Macedonia, they prepared to do not only take care of themselves, but they thought about others. And this is what Jesus did for us because he paid it all. He thought about us. We were on his mind before there was, we, we were even a, a thought in our mother and father's, you know, coming together, being in our mother's womb. Jesus was thinking about us. And tonight, what are you going to do? Because you want some things paid. And there's a reason why I'm going this way, because I need you to understand it was June 7th, 2018, five years ago. And that'll be next week. And it'll be five years. And what I see that the Lord did in five years, because I didn't always want to listen. So I don't want you to get confused. But I did listen. Some things I kicked and screamed and I said, Lord, this is not fair. But I did it anyway. And sometimes one of your breakthrough is, is, is almost held hostage because of our disobedience. We pray. We ask, mm, we intercede, and then we make our own decision, paid. You pray, you ask, you intercede even on top of that, and then you make a, your own decision. And tonight, it's time for breakthrough. It's time for us to get paid. We can't no longer sit back, just as this church others this church was thinking about others we're going to have to start thinking about others and when we think about others god is going to think about us and i need you to receive that word when you start it says give and it will be given unto you good measure press down shaking to Together and running over the men will pour into your bosom. But guess what? You with what you hey, God, what you sow is what you reap. 
So if you sow frustration, you're going to get frustration. If you sow anger, you're going to get anger. If you sow finances, you got to, you, there's nothing. Today, I went and bought some um, carrot seeds. I don't know why, because I don't want to plant vegetables. I don't want to plant one more thing. I'm so tired of that garden, but I'm still out there. And I, I picked up the seeds and I said, okay, I'm going to sow the seeds. I'm not expecting nothing but carrots. I'm not expecting apples. So I want us to, you know, we got to plan a this independent direction, this independent thought process, not thinking of others and just only thinking of ourselves. We're going to have to shift that because just as a, the Achaia and, and Macedonia church, they had already pre-prepared to not only be taking care of what they need to do, but they were concerned about people that were starving. And I encourage you tonight because Kingdom Advancement Alliance, we're taking care of like seven countries with people that are impoverished and need meals and food. And I could get on here every Saturday and talk about it and encourage you and say, you know, we want VIP partners and give $10 a month and people won't do it. But we'll just, you know, it's just like it goes over our head. But then we want stuff paid. And sometimes it's a $10 investment that can change and shift the atmosphere for you. So I'm encouraging people tonight that we're going to have to, I'm preaching tonight about individual donations. What, you know, what are you doing? Because you want things, they take taxes because you wouldn't pay, we wouldn't pay them if they didn't take them first. They take union dues because since I listen, I used to be a, a union rep. They, we, they took the dues first because people may not pay them. The organizational dues, you're connected to an organization. If you don't pay, some of them don't let you stay, right? We go to a restaurant and we give tips. You know, the, wait, the waiter, the, uh, the server, whoever's there, they're expecting that you will tip. And But, but because you're not, they're not sure that you will tip, they, they give you a recommendation, 18%, 20%, all these things that they put to remind you. And God, who is father, who, who is master, who is savior, who gives you health, who gives you strength, who gives you strategy, who gives you idea. When it comes to going into the sanctuary, when it comes to going to a fellowship, when it comes to doing the things that's related to God, it's like silence. It's like, um, sometimes like I said, it's crooked. Nothing. We hear nothing. And tonight it's a tight topic. But we want to get paid. So if we seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, everything else will be added. When you're coming into these fellowships, you're not connected to a building. You got to be connected to a vision. You got to be connected to, you know, how are we moving forward? You got to be connected to, I love the Lord so much that this is my worship unto him. So I'm tithing because of my worship to him. I'm thanking you. I'm giving him 10% because he he allowed me to open a door for me to get this job. He allowed me to have a mind to retain, to, to even have the knowledge to have this job. He's the one that helps us. He's the one that keeps. He's the one that sustains. He's the one that even when there's a debt ceiling, there's no ceiling with him. But we have to tap into who he is and support what he's concerned about, just like this church. They were eager to promote this cause. And tonight I'm encouraging you. What cause are you, you know, eager to promote? What are you concerned about? You know, it can't be just that it's a, our concern is about ourselves, me, myself, and I. We have to be concerned about other things. I'm only making it to the fifth, the, uh, the fifth verse because... <sighs> It's a sensitive month for me. And I just remember it's five years. And I remember all of the instructions over this five years that the Lord gave me. And Acts 20, 35 says, it's more blessed to give than to receive. And I'm encouraging, you know, each and every one of us. He's not saying like in Luke 12, 23, I'm not saying that sell your possessions. I'm just saying it's, it's more of a blessing to give than it is to receive. 
In our ministry, I've seen people because they give and they sow, their student debt was canceled. In our ministry, I saw people who were going to lose their home, someone miraculously paid everything off. In the ministry, I've seen so many cars donated to different individuals, just giving cars given, just because of their sacrifice of, of loving the Lord, not so much related to just ministry and so forth, but they actually have a relationship and they believe in the things of God. And I pray for you tonight that you will sit down with the Lord and say, where am I going wrong? Which, you know, show me. Because I need, we need some things paid off. Because in Jesus' name, I'm speaking now that these things are going to be paid off for people. Student loan debt, paid off. Mortgages, in Jesus' name, paid off. Organizational dues, paid off. I'm, thank, I'm speaking bonuses even now in the name of Jesus. I'm thanking God for people being elevated in their jobs even now. It's time to get paid. If Jesus paid it all, all to him we owe. All we got to do is do our part and expect, have an expectation. We don't have a time frame, but we have to have an expectation. All expenses paid. That's the express, That's the expectation. That's the expectation. All expenses paid in Jesus' name. You say that in your own home. All expenses paid. There, I mean, I have testimony after testimony in the past. I've been doing some confessions and I'm watching God. Things that would cost $160 when I walk in, it's $79. I, I, I picked up something the other day when I went on Amazon. It was one price. When I went to check out, it was in half. So I'm watching God move because we're speaking the word of God. And that's another thing you have to do. You have to confess and trust that God is going to make a way of escape for you. I don't care what's going on in the stock market. I don't care what's going on in your 401k. I don't care what's going on in your IRA. I'm talking about if you invest in the kingdom of God, there is nothing but else but going up, up, up. There is no loss in the kingdom. So we may have to look about where we're investing. So I'm encouraging because I've had friends. I remember um, in the 90s, we had, uh, there was like a lot, there was a, you know, like a stock market because the stock market fluctuates over the years. And it was in the 90s and I had a 401k. I was, you know, in my 30s maybe. And um, I remember it was in the stock market and it was going up and I was watching it go up and I was just watching it go up. And I remember the Lord said one day, um, put it in the fixed fund. And I said, OK, I'll do it. And I moved everything, and put it in the fixed fund. And when I put it in the fixed fund. Hence. The stock market went down. And I was telling my friend who was sitting next to me, I said, you should move it to fix her. No, I'm making too much money. And I watched her, all of the money that she made, it all disappeared in like a week. And I'm saying to you, God's kingdom is not a stock market. It's a solid investment. It's a place that he wants us to, to donate. So I'm saying plan for donations in your life. Plan to invest in other people. Plan to support a charity. Plan to support a church. Plan. There's so many things that we invest in and then when we, it's of no use to us. And I'm encouraging each and every one of us because this, this is a tough message. But we all want to get paid, but we don't want to pay. And sometimes God is, 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 is pulling us to the carpet to say, start to look at what you're really doing. And look, look for the things that is after my heart. And when you do those things, I will pay. So God bless you all tonight. It's a, it's a sobering time. Um, tomorrow I'll be preaching in um, the Bronx, which I usually don't go out and preach often. Um, but, uh, you know, our... Pastor Lane Ganey, we just want to celebrate her because she's going to be the senior pastor and we're going to install her into uh, the church in the Bronx. And um, that sacrifice, I remember, you know, 
and I know I'm over time, but I just want to encourage someone because I, my husband was alive and we had standard bear ministries. And we remember, you know, we were talking to her when she came over one night and she said, you know, I just feel the Lord has a ministry for us. And we encouraged her and we said, you know, let us help you to set it up. And we helped her set it up. And then we got a 501c3 for, you know, done, completed. And then she was building the ministry over the, you know, doing a phone teachings and a, a Bible study over the phone and a prayer line over the phone. And here we are, you know, seven years later, she's walking into the church as a senior pastor. But guess what? She invested in the kingdom. She focused on the things of God and something that he told her to do, plan an independent direction. Many people might not have agreed with her setting up her own a ministry and agree with us moving it forward. But here we are, she's now the senior pastor of a church. So sometimes the plan and the purpose that he has for you to prosper you and, and give you good success, the world may not understand. Stop trying to make everyone understand what you're doing. Just do what you're called to do. Go to the school that you're supposed to go. Open the business you're supposed to open. Move to the place you're supposed to move. Don't allow others to move you out of what God is saying to do. So I encourage you tonight that it's time to get paid. But we're going to plan an independent direction, but it can't be without the Holy Spirit. We got, I preached about donations. It's time to give to the things of the Lord. It's time to give to the things of the Lord. There are pastors out there. They're working diligently. They're serving. They're counseling. You can call them. You know, they're praying for you. And, and people don't see that as work. But when they go to see a therapist or counseling, they got to pay that person. But spiritual work, they see it as nothing. And I'm saying, no continue to support and invest the ministry that you're a part of. Don't take those leaders for granted. Don't look at the, what they're doing as not work. When when you we're working on sermons and, and studying, that's work. When you go to school and study, it's work. So it's it's work. So I want to get, you know, bring some clarity to that because sometimes you know, we're overlooked. They overlook pastors, they overlook evangelists, they overlook, you know, teachers and and you know, prophets and apostles, they you just overlook it and just say, oh, the pastor understands, but no, you have to remember that that person is working and don't take it for granted. So I think I've said enough. I just know it's time to get paid. And how you do that is you seek ye first the kingdom of God is in righteousness and everything else will be added. You, you advance the kingdom by investing in the things that he plays on your heart. And if he hasn't laid it on your heart and you're not a cheerful giver, keep it, don't do it. This is for a person who's ready to shift and change. But if you're gonna give grudgingly and, and frustrated, it, it's of no benefit to you because remember, it's a worship. So tonight, God, we worship you. We praise your holy name. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you, oh God, even in this month of June when it, it could be very laborious and, and, and mm, even at times painful, God, I continue to trust you. And I pray for each and every person that's that's going to see this video, that they are going to move forward knowing that they have to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be added. Let, let them know, God, that you have a purpose and a plan for them and it's to prosper them and give them good success. I thank you, God, for supernatural debt cancellation even now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that student loans are paid. We thank you, oh God, that you're realigning finances and people are being elevated. We thank you, oh God, for supernatural raises even now. We thank you, O oh God, for increase coming from the north, south, and east, and west. We thank you, O oh God, that you are the God that fulfills and pays. And we thank you that we have been serving you um, consistently. And we thank you, O oh God, that there's no good thing that you will withhold from us as we continue to walk up right before you. So, Father, we thank you through, we thank you through every airway, through every household, even now in the name of 
Jesus. Under the sound of my voice, we thank you for the supernatural to happen. We thank you, oh God, for the testimonies that are going to come because it's payment time. We thank you, oh God, that we have surrendered our hearts to you even now in the name of Jesus. And we forever give you the honor, the glory, and the praise in Jesus' name. And we all say amen. So some of you didn't write what you need to get paid. Tonight, it's time to write. Go to your journal, go to your page and write it down. Write it down and make it plain before him. Don't have, don't plan an independent di 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 direction. I want you to put down every single thing. And I'm going to do it tonight too. Put down every single thing. And we're going to watch God move on our behalf in Jesus' name. And we all say amen. So God bless you all. I love you all. Thank you for giving me the extra time tonight. Um, June is just a sensitive time, but it's five years later and we are still standing. And I thank you each and every person that, uh, that um, you know, comes on when we um, teach on Kingdom Advancement. I will be doing a 10-week teaching series that I'll talk about more um, next week that starts um, June 21st. And it's more, not just teaching, it's really a conversation so we can start to reach others for Christ. So um, God bless you all. I love you all. If you want to partner with us, you can go to kaglobal.org and some of the leaders you can write in the comments, those who want to become a VIP partner, which is $10 a month. So we can continue to care for the orphans that are overseas. Um, I encourage you to do that. Um, but it's time to get paid. It's time to get paid. So have an expectation. And I'm talking about like next week, we need to hear testimonies of what God is doing, especially if you have been investing all this time. It is not for naught. God is, it's, God is ready to deliver. So just receive that, believe that in Jesus name. And we all say amen and good night.